Matthew 23, verse 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Before I open up, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the more honors to the apostles and the elders of great moonstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to all Yoakim out there that's laboring in his truth and truth and sincerity. Just want to jump in a quick little lesson real quick. Um, basically on being humble and um, not getting puffed up in pride. You know, I'm going to jump right into the lesson. This is uh, Matthew 23 and 12. He said, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be a base. Like basically when you go into that word a base, I'm going to click on it. This is uh, Strong's G5013. It's to make low, bring low. To level, reduce to a plain metaphoric to bring into a humble condition, reduce to meaner cir uh, circumstances, to assign a lower rank or place to a base, to a base, to be ranked below others who are honored or rewarded, to humble or or uh, abase myself. By humbly, by humble living, a lower, depress uh, of one's soul, bring down one's pride, to have a modest opinion on oneself, to behave in an unassuming manner, devoid of all haughtiness, and this is the Strong's definitions. It says, uh, uh, from to depress figuratively to humiliate and condition and heart or base bring low humble so basically what this is saying it says and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased and then he's going to be brought down low he's going to be made humiliated so you don't want to put yourself on a level you're not on and even if you are on a level because when you go at one verse uh, right here, this is uh, Matthew 23 and 11. It says, but he that is greater among you shall be your servant. So even somebody over you in rank, you know, uh, basically should be your servant, your minister. He should bring himself down low, you know, in, in a, uh, uh, in a uh, humble state, in, in all humility. Okay. You know, this is, a, this is how the way we're supposed to be, because at the end of the day, this is not about us. It's about Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's about exalting the Lord and not yourself. I'm going to read that again. He said, And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. So whoever humble themselves, they're going to be the ones that be exalted, man. Okay? The Lord going to exalt you in due time. Uh, so like your one. Get the scripture real quick. Uh, it's in the book of James. This is the book of James. Uh, it's lucky about that. Four and um, six. It says, But he giveth more grace, where, wherefore he saith. So, lucky, let me go up. No, I'm going yeah, to just start right there to the point. This is uh, uh, James 4 and 6. It says, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, the most high resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Right. So basically when you, um, you know, uh, humble yourself down to the spirit of the Lord, man, the Lord, you know, he, he have more patience with you, man. You know, he have mercy on you. He give you mercy when you humble yourself down, man. Okay? But the, but the proudful, he going to resist. You know, he resists the proudful because you can't tell somebody who's proud anything. Okay? A proudful person ain't going to uh, receive uh, reproof, rebuke, or correction. He's not going to uh, uh, examine himself. You know, because he can't be told anything, man. 
You know, so he, so the, so the heavenly father is, is going to uh, uh, resist him and not enlighten him on any uh, wisdom or knowledge. Okay. So that's why it's important to humble down. So, so you don't get resisted by the heavenly father. Okay. Verse seven, he says, submit yourself, therefore, to the most high, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Right. So when you resist uh, Satan, you know, and that's that pride, you know, not humbling down. You know that that that'd be Satan taking control over you, man. But well, but if you if you resist Satan, you know he'll flee away. Okay, verse eight. He says, "Draw nigh to the Most High, and He will draw nigh to you." See when you when you take those steps toward the Most High and to uh, and, and humility, you know, and, and and wanting to be right, and wanting to be corrected, you know, and serving the Lord, you know, and doing what He tell you to do. Being obedient, you praying, meditating. The Lord said, "He'll draw nigh to you." He says, "Draw nigh to me, draw nigh to the Most High, and He will draw nigh to you." Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. So basically, you gotta pray, man, and repent. You gotta repent from your sins, okay? He says, "Be afflicted and mourn." and weep let your laughter be turned to mourning and your and your joy to heaviness he said humble yourselves right so like let me go back up to verse 9 he says be afflicted and mourn and weep so you gotta be afflicted in this thing man you know you gotta be afflicted and you gotta mourn man this is this is the time of mourning we in man you know, the scriptures even say it is better to go into the house of mourning right now, man. This is the time right now, man, to get yourself together with the Heavenly Father. He says, be, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning. Right. Because, man, look at all the sin we've done. This is the time right now to come up out of the world, you know, and reflect. Reflect back on your own self, man, examining yourself. And, and uh, going to the Heavenly Father, asking for re for repentance, man. Asking the Heavenly Father for, for, for forgiveness for all the sin we committed, man. This ain't no time to be proudful. This is the time to make ourselves low. You know, for, so the Heavenly Father can have mercy on us, man. Okay? He says, and your joy to heaviness. He said, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. And that's part of, you know, making yourself humble, man, in the sight of the Lord, man. You know, when you're wrong, you know, and, um, you know, asking for forgiveness, man. Not only to the Heavenly Father, or well, whoever you sinned against, man, it might be a brother. You know, you might want to go to him, you know, and repent to him. You know, the scriptures even tell you to uh, lay your gift down at the altar and go, you know, reconcile with your brother, man. Okay. I got one more. Salakia. Man, here with me, Akim. Well, matter of fact, here's one right here. This is uh, First Peter five and five. This is First Peter five and five. He said, "Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself to the elder. Yea, all of you, be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility." For the Most High resisted the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Again, the Most High, he, gonna, he resists the proud, man. He give grace to the humble, man. All, all you proudful guys out here, man, the Heavenly Father ain't going to deal with you, man. He's going to resist you every time, you know. Slock you, hold on. Slock you, brothers. Yeah, kind. Verse 6, he said, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of of the most high that he may exalt you in due time right so man hey you got to stay in order you know you got to be obedient to your elders that set up on uh that set up over you man you know and, and you know and be humble up under them and the heavenly father will exalt you in due time okay it's all about being patient man okay uh one more it's in the book of luke 14, it's like, yeah, I think it's 18. 18 verse 14. 
This is actually an act, you know, um, I wanted to read real quick. I'm just going to read through it real fast. Uh, this is, uh, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to start it. Matter of fact, it's Luke 18. I'm going to start verse 9. And he spake this parable unto the certain, and to certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up. I'm going to read that again. Salakia. This is Luke 18 and 9. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Right. It was, it was uh, these two that they was being proudful, man. And, and they thought they were self-righteous, you know, and they despised other people. And, and two men went up. This is the parable he telling them. He said two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee. And the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are. Extortionists, unjust adulterous, or even as the this publican. Right. See, he was self-righteous, man. You know, he was looking down at the publican because he was a Pharisee. The scripture, uh, 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 um, it's like I'll pull that one up, too, in, in just a minute. Uh, verse uh, 12, I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possessed, that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes into heaven, but smote upon his breast saying, Yahweh, be merciful to me, a sinner. Right, because he got low. He became lowly, man. You know, because because he was a uh, he was a uh, convicted. He had a contrite heart, man, and a contrite spirit, man. You know, he he made himself low, man. And he 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 was in humility, man. For Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he says, "I tell you, this man went down to his house justified." You know, see, he went down to his just to his house justified, man, because he was in the right mind. You know, he wasn't lifted up in pride, man. He wasn't he wasn't self righteous, you know. Um, Salakia. I tell you that Salakia, I tell you this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for every one that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted and that's the point right there man we back where we started at full circle okay? so everyone who um lifted himself up man shall be a base and the heavenly father gonna um bring you to humility man he gonna bring you down in your pride man and he gonna he gonna clothe you in shame man you know you, you don't want to be in the spirit of being a puffed up powerful guy man especially because you know a lot of precepts Cause this thing is not about us, man. You know, it's about exalting, exhorting the Lord, man. You know, and it's about us, you know, uh, uh, getting our houses in order, man. It's about being, being humble and, and all humility, man. And, and doing what the heavenly father told us to do, being obedient. It's about us learning how to be, uh, um, uh, uh sons of the most high, man. And all obedience, and humility, man. It's about learning how to love correctly, man. It's, it's, it's about all of that, man. You can't do that in pride. You can't do that in being puffed up. Okay? I'm going to get this one scripture and then I'm going to close up on that. Um, I think this is uh, 1 Corinthians. I think it's chapter 10. Salakia. It's not 10. Bear with me, Akia. Yeah, it is eight, Salaki. This is First Corinthians chapter eight, verse one. He says, Now as touching things offered into idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Right, we all have knowledge. He said, Knowledge puffed it up. And that's that just talking about that pride, man. He said, But charity edif edifieth. So basically, man, this is about building. 
the nation of Israel building each other up, man. And we got to do that in all um, humility, man. Okay? And when, uh, with that, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to all you Akim out there that's laboring in his truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.